So this screencast is to familiarize you with the tool we're going to be using to create your comics for your Sapphire project. The tool is called Strip Generator. It's found at stripgenerator.com. Before you start, you uh, may want to create yourself a username and password because that's going to make it easier for you to go back and edit your uh, comic after, after you've saved it. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to edit it after you had published it. Um, but with a username, you can do it in multiple parts or um, go back and make changes if you want to. So you want to go down here to create a new strip. It's going to take you to the editing page. You're going to start out with three frames. You can change the frames that you have. You can make them um, different, different um, sizes of frame. You can make them in two rows. You can make them a full page. I don't want to do anything that complex for this demonstration, so I'm going to stick with three frames in one row. The first thing you probably want to add do, do is add uh, your people. You probably want to add about four of them because there's probably about four people in your group. So go up here and select the people that you want to add um, as your characters. There's two. Um, if you want to go to beings, those are um, non-human. They are uh, robots, creatures, animals, and the like. Um, at the end of in the last page of this, there are some fun things that you might want to look at. There's a snowman and um, a powerpuff girl and I'm going to add her because I like her. Um, there's a character from South Park and Bart Simpson and Batman and we'll add him. And so there's some fun things there. Um, so then you probably want to go ahead and drag these characters down onto the frame. What I would suggest doing is zooming in a little bit more and then making the character smaller so that you have more room to work. And you have more room to add text and show dimension and things like that. So we'll add these down here. Powerpuff and her friend. Next thing you can add is objects. I don't know um, how you're going to use these in your um, comic, but um, if you find a need for them, feel free. Get this little girl, Zoro hat here. You can also add shapes. Again, I don't understand what you would need to use these for, but feel free to use them if you find a need. Here's how you add text. You go up here to bubbles um, and click whichever um, text you want to use and drag it down to where you want to put it. Double click to write. So you change what is being said. You can change the size of the box, move it around, and this little bubble here changes the directional uh, line. So that's how you add text. Now I'll click on a character and click on Batman. So if we want to duplicate Batman because we're going to be using him in multiple frames, we click this button here with the two little squares there. Um, and then if we want to delete a Batman, we click the right next to it where it has the X. So we click on Batman. You can also change his opacity, which makes him basically more or less invisible. So I'm showing you here. You can also blur him, which makes obviously blurs the edges, which again, I don't know why you'd find that necessary, but there it is. Uh, let's add an object here. Let's give him a guitar. And you can see how it is over him, like over his face there. So you want to get that out of the way. And put him in front. You click bring to front. So you've selected Batman and clicked bring to front. And then put to back. That's how you do that. Um, you can flip this. Uh, you can flip the images um, sideways, uh, horizontally. That turns the guitar around. It's a left hand guitar, and you can flip it upside down. You can invert the images, or I'm sorry, invert the colors and um, from black to white. And that's about as much as I can tell you for strip generator. So again, we zoom. And when you are done, 
you can go down here to finish and it will guide you through the steps of publishing your uh, comic, which I can't do because I don't have a username because I don't need one. But it will um, ask you to tag it, it will ask you to um, describe it, give it a title, and from there um, you can uh, choose whether it's not or not it's going to show up on the strip generator site. And um, you, can, you can print the screens from there and cut them out and use them for your poster, at which point you can add a caption on your poster because there's no way to add a caption on there. So um, have fun with this project and enjoy using Strip Generator and do your best and I can't wait to see the work you guys give me.